Did you know that light has some major effect on our body? This is what Manuel Spitschan is researching at the Max Planck Institute for Biological Cybernetics in Tübingen, Germany. So what we're interested in this group is how light affects human physiology and behavior. And we combine studies in the field and the lab to really understand the mechanisms that underlie the effects of light. Manuel Spitschan is currently building his research team. Central to my work is integrating knowledge, expertise and methods from different disciplines. And I'm drawing mostly from visual neuroscience and chronobiology to answer novel research questions. So we humans produce what's called the sleep hormone melatonin. Melatonin is produced around one to three hours before our habitual bedtime, and it's continuing to be secreted during the night. When we expose ourselves to a bright light in the evening, the production of melatonin is suppressed, so it's much lower. So the light-dark cycle fundamentally influences our biological clock. And when that biological clock is out of sync with the environmental conditions, we call that circadian disruption. And circadian disruption can have many influences on our physical and our mental health, negative ones primarily. So we also know that there's an intimate link between mental health and circadian rhythms and our sleep-wake cycle. So in a lot of psychological conditions like depression and anxiety disorders, there are many sleep disorders that come along with the condition. And of course, trying to understand this link between mental health and the circadian rhythm is a key priority. So what we're setting up here is a sleep facility, a sleep lab, in which participants can come and spend a couple of days so that we can study their sleep and their circadian rhythms. And while they're here, we can modify specific aspects of their light exposure and other environmental factors. So we've just started to set up our lab and we are testing protocols, trialing procedures and so on. And that's a very exciting time, of course. And what we're really looking forward to is then being able to collect data, answer research questions and really make use of the facilities that we have here to push science forward. So in addition to my research group here in Tübingen, I also have a professorship at the Technical University of Munich. And what we focus on there is really the link between chronobiology and health from an applied perspective. So what we're currently working on is what we call the Circadian Data Hub. And that's a platform in which we can aggregate, merge and share data on human circadian rhythms from different sites, different fields uh, and also from different institutions. It will allow us to answer questions that a single laboratory or a single research group simply cannot answer. By merging and aggregating data, we of course have much more inferential power. Apart from his scientific research, Manuel Spitschan will thus also take very practical measures that are designed to help us in our everyday lives. 